18 wheeler went off and rolled over here. I don't know if we can get up here and get some footage of this or not. Well, Let's see, it's kind of pinched in there. We can get the well, down here on the back side of this, on the other side. See if I can get out and get you guys a little bit of footage of this. There's some heat rolling in here. It's going to be cold when I get back. Well, full of mason jars, they're saying. Oh, roof's opened up. Looks like they're unloading it. Sorry about the shakiness, it's cold out here. Truck's all tore up. I haven't heard if the driver's alright or not. I just came through here now and seen it. I guess it was on the news this morning. Let's see if I can get around here and get you guys another angle of this. Wow. out there buddy let me tell you that uh, pull right up with your truck to sit right there careful shut this heater off so you guys don't have to listen to all that heater noise How long you think that one is, Mike? 52, 54 footer? It's full size. Whole top's ripped open, you see that? Yep, that truck's beat. Ready for the junkyard. Mason jars. It's full. Of, see him scooping the glass? Yeah. Yes, I swung over to the back side of it here. It's like it's all ripped open on the top. Don't know if that happened in the crash or if they did that to uh, get the bottles and stuff out. That's a lot to clean up. I'll have to watch the news tonight to find out what the whole story is on it. See if they give an update on it, and then I'll uh, inform you guys in the uh, comments below I mean, actually what happened because I'm not sure myself. Looks like it just came with coming off the off ramp or something because that's the off ramp coming off right here of 104 headed into the city. And this is uh, exit 250 in uh, Webster, New York. It's a 250 overpass right there. For my Aunt Sally down in Texas, or down in Texas, down in uh, Georgia, it might be one of them. Yeah, they're getting it now. The driver was all right. It was really windy. I mean, it's really windy here. I don't know if that was a factor in it, but it's getting windy here today. I had said earlier about uh, hang on, upstate New York, and on face or on uh, yeah, on Facebook. 
The winds are bad today, but wow. 65 miles per hour winds. It says 60 for tomorrow, too. Crazy. That's just crazy. Just looking at the trailer, and if you follow the trailer line down through, it's all straight here. And then it goes way up, buckles up there. So on that tree or something. But the whole trailer is buckled up there. If you look at it, the whole trailer there. That's the trailer itself. Big hump. It's going to be a crazy pick when they pick that up. Because they have no way to pick it back up to the road. So they're going to have to drag it out this way or something. Tear up these people's backyard. There's somebody's house right here. And garage. It's on a 45. Yeah, they're not going to be able to pick it back up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or the fencing to bring it back into this lot or something. We'll probably do that later tonight when the traffic slows down after they empty the trailers. Yeah. Ooh, there's another truck getting off right now. Thinking, whoa, hopefully that don't happen to me. There it is, full size. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Cold truck load of mason jars. Another well, shot of the cab here. So this is the off ramp of 250 where he was coming, should have been coming off from. The truck sits down in there alongside that fence. This is the ramp that comes off 